Uh, the next thing we're going to do is jump in here and harvest the zucchini. I don't know if you've noticed, but I put my sleeves down because uh, the zucchini plants tend to give me a rash on my arms. And so you just want to wear you know, your coat or something, harvest it early in the morning, late in the evening when it's cool. Uh, and that way you don't have itchy arms all day. Now the cucumbers will do that too, so you might want to harvest them at the same time. And we're starting to get some monster zucchinis. Now I like the big ones because I like to uh, shred this into spaghetti noodles. Uh, but if you don't like the big ones, then what you want to do is harvest twice a week. So you want to harvest um, one time midweek, one time in the weekend, you know, three or four days apart. And that will get the size down. And go ahead and take everything off um, that's ready. And then find a way to use it or find somebody to give it to. So don't leave them on the plant if you don't want them for dinner. Go ahead and get them off, get them in the fridge, uh, freeze them, give them away, whatever. But that helps the plant in a couple ways. One is it doesn't suck the energy to continue to hold on to big plants and it also gives the plant more vigor to make more because you've harvested the fruit off of it. So it's a, it's a good idea to harvest all that's ready. Okay, here's our zucchini harvest. It's really heavy. There's a lot of zucchini here. But when I chop it up, blanch it, freeze it, eat it in the winter time, our family eats about 500 pounds of squash a year. So it's good food. Uh, don't waste it, get it in the freezer or find some friends and you can share it around. So that's an awesome harvest. I'm so thrilled with that. Um, I got one big leaf turning yellow. It's an older leaf, so I'm just gonna take it out to clear up, clean up the plant. I got one up here that I'd like to take out. So we'll just do that as some maintenance. And then we need to check for squash bugs. Look under all the leaves, little golden BBs. I have not seen any yet. So I think we're in the clear for now. They will arrive at some point, so you want to be vigilant. The other thing that you can see is sometimes you can see the little bugs scurrying down inside. So you want to keep an eye down inside for the actual bugs. So, okay, that's looking really good.